the last action of Prophet وسلم, the last action before he died, he took his last breath, before his soul was taken away. He was lying in the lap of his beloved wife, Hazrat Aisha anha, sweating profusely, extreme headache, temperature, hmm? last moments. Here comes the brother of Aisha anha, Abdurrahman ibn Abi Bakr with a miswak in his pocket, new miswak. Rasulullah looks at the miswak with desire's eyes. Hmm? Hath Aisha, the wife, they understand. She says, oh, Prophet of Allah, would you like to use that miswak? Because he, it was his habit. Before he would enter home, he would do the miswak. Before he would go to sleep, he would do the miswak. Every, before every salat, he would do miswak. Hmm? Before he would give a sermon, Friday sermon, he would do miswak. In hadith of Bukhari, Prophet وسلم, said, if I knew it wasn't too hard for my people to brush before every salat, I would have made it compulsory, obligatory upon, upon them to do miswak before every salat. Hmm. One of the greatest virtues and benefits of doing miswak, respected listeners, Prophet وسلم, said, other than removing all the diseases that emanate, that start from the mouth, Allah eliminates all those diseases, but the greatest of the benefit of doing miswak is, Allah appoints a special angel, said Prophet Among those angels that come to take the soul away, there will be a special angel who will tell the person, encourage the person to recite La ilaha illallah, say La ilaha illallah before you leave the world. And the person will say La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah is looking at the miswak as Aisha says, should I get the miswak to you, O Prophet? Rasul shakes his blessed face and says, yes. She takes the miswak, chews it, makes it soft, gives it to him, and he brushes it. SubhanAllah, it's written in the books of Sirah, how thoroughly he brushed his mouth before he said, Allahumma rafiqul ala. To use the miswak, respect, it gives us a guaranteed husna ending khatima. Khatima bil khair, beautiful ending. 